All right, hey everybody, Snappy Dean. I'm a Snap-on dealer. I've been with Snap-on Tools for, I'm in my 32nd year. Today we want to take you on a tour of the Snap-on truck and maybe talk about a little bit of the day in the life of a Snap-on dealer and what we do. I want to introduce you to Cole Manansala. Cole is a strategic partner of mine. He works with me every day on the truck. So come on in and we'll take a tour around. This truck tour is proudly produced by Tecamo and sponsored by Fortis HD. So, Snappy Dean, how many times a week does a guy say to you, oh, my wife's going to kill me? At least 100. Maybe not 100. For the most part, the guy leaves with the tool. If he doesn't want a printed copy of the receipt or have it emailed home or text to his phone, we don't have to. That's his choice or her choice. So this is my third truck. Every day, I just thought about the layout of the truck and how I was going to do this truck. And what you see is the fruits of my labor and the efforts I put into it to make it so that the truck is easy to use. Meaning, if you want to look at that screwdriver, it's just as easy to pull down and then go, that's not the one I want. I want you to just click it back up again. Because in the old days, we used to use the... The, the strapping that's on the roof, it's a great way to retain tools. It's a pain in the butt on stock order nights, which happens twice a week. So anyways, this compartment is kind of the CEO's office. This is uh, no standees permitted here. So this is my work area. The rest of the truck is for you to explore. And this was my wife's idea. This is Cole's corner. It's more so just an area for me to change up tools so that customers see stuff that they maybe don't usually see this area is more like i would say the area you see the most you go to the grocery store when you go to pay for your groceries and you're in the checkout aisle this is that area so if i'm going to put a promotional item featured item this is the area it's going to be these two cordless tools the long neck 14 volt micro lithium compact tools that's our number one seller so whether it be the new brushless 3 8 impact gun with now 160 foot pounds of torque to the long neck quarter and 3 8 these are here because these are the oh why did you guys put that there i know i wanted one of those and the cost it's it's right there it's it's in your face selling so it doesn't necessarily have to be a feature item when everything is out for the customer to touch and decide yep that's the one I want, and that's the color I want, that new power blue. It's there ready to go, and then Cole knows where the empty box is in the truck, and away we go. So these areas pretty much never change. That, then that way, it's, it's good for inventory control. And now we'll go into a little bit of meat and potato, because this, this is the stuff that, if you're starting out, this is the basics. Your wrenches your sockets, your ratchets, your extensions. Everybody needs it. It doesn't matter what your profession, what tool user you are and what you're using that tool on, you are gonna use combination wrenches, you're gonna use box end wrenches, ratcheting wrenches, you're gonna use half inch drive sockets, you're gonna use three eighths and quarter drive sockets. It's, this, this is the area where you walk into my store and where do I find wrenches? Metric or standard? I'm just going to tell you what shelf you're going to go to. You're going to go to the metric shelf. You're going to go to the standard shelf. Nine out of 10, you ask for a product. We got it. If we don't, we'll get it for you in a timely manner. The truck is yours to explore. When you walk on the truck, especially if you're a newcomer to the truck, don't be shy. Don't be afraid to ask a question because we're not gonna call you out and go, what, you don't know what that is? No, because if, if you're in your infancy of, of tool collecting, tool acquiring, you come to the experts and we're gonna help you get the tools you need to do the job you gotta do and do the best job in the timely manner that your employer wants you to do. Raise the hand and ask and we're gonna show you what you need. It's still up to you the end user, the customer, you, you have to decide on what you want to, what you want to purchase from us, but we will assist you in getting you the right tool. In a lot of cases, you might come on board 
and be a little over and you actually might be over purchasing yourself or thinking of something and and i'll have you tap the brakes and i'll assist you in getting instead of all of this why don't we get this and then one of these and one of these because this is what's going to get your career path going the best and and we truly believe at, at snap on we want everybody to use snap on tools top shelf a lot of specialty stuff but not all specialty stuff measuring tools whether you're a machinist and looking for micrometers vernier or even a tape measure you don't have to be a carpenter to use a tape measure i mean we we sell a really fine guaranteed for life tape measure right above the socket station is going to be diagnostic tools so we didn't know it's in this drawer but we actually have an automotive scan tool uh, a thermal imager and accessories to go with that then above it is everything that's going to be as far as multimeters battery testing equipment bore scopes going into those fine little areas and going hey how do i look inside that cylinder or go through that glow plug hole and have a look well uh, that's in this area test lights power probe that's pretty much this area here and then complement beside it now we're just into cordless lighting rechargeable lighting then we go back onto the roof so in the middle here is lots of different screwdrivers sizes styles torques flats phillips more longer cabinet screwdrivers up on this side there's air blowers long ones short ones some like electronic screwdrivers we got some more ratchets up here more ratchets quarter inch three eighths here on the other side is all half inch stuff so half inch extensions half inch ratchets and then coming back over to this side an array of kind of more specialty wrenches and some larger size wrenches smaller pry bars punches kind of reaching tools we have a section here with air hammer bits, all sorts of sizes and shapes, depending on what you're doing. Radiator pick tools, like cotter pin tools, all sorts of like kind of screwdriver handled brushes for cleaning. In the middle here has lots of different styles of feeler gauges, thin wall sockets. Kind of the back section here is all specialty compression testing tools, specialty wrenches for compressors, different style pliers for exhaust hangers, CV boot clamp tools, different compression testing adapters, because nowadays there's so many different spark plugs, glow plugs, and all sorts of different sizes. So we have to keep them all so that we can help out a guy when he's in a jam. That's kind of the basis of the roof. If you came on the truck and said, I'm looking for a, an air die grinder, an impact gun, an air drill, well, we'd send you right to this area. It's, it's two shelves consuming only one third of those shelves and everything is full from front to back. And we also have levels of tools, meaning the Snap-on branded tools, USA made in the, in the Sioux plant, down to the Blue Point stuff for more of the, I don't think I'm ready for that, but the price point takes me to this is it covered with a warranty yes it is if something happens we'll take care of you and then i try to have related items to that so because we're got die grinders and drills here well it's it's a step over now we've got drill bits extractors which require rotational movement so the customer is just finding i got my air tool i got my extractors and drill bits and I even got my safety glasses and my hearing protection. So it's, it's just a theme build. And then same thing when we move, we, we, we left that area, small, small area of butane tools, torches and soldering. Customer can solder anywhere in the field. And you don't even have to go to the drugstore and get butane because I'll get you some butane as well. The back door. So first question everybody asks that's new to the truck and or has never received delivery of their first snap-on toolbox, when they see the toolbox up there, they go, how'd you get it in? How do you get it out? The back door opens, we have a power tailgate. 
So on the back door, pullers. Pullers are something that not everybody's going to have in their personal tool collection, but at that point, myself or Cole is going to ask, what are you pulling? The conversation will open up and we'll get it a little more finite to what we need to supply you with to do the job safely, accurately, and as, as fast as you can, especially if you're on a flat rate. If you want the Tecmo guys to come over on a night and say, Snappy Dean, can we talk more about apprenticeship program? Can we talk about heavy duty tools? Just ask the questions, post them to the Tecmo team. I'll get you the answers as best I can. This is the front of the truck. This is the cockpit. We have our, our lighting controls, our 110 voltage controls. I have a refrigerator on board because we're obviously so busy. We're eating on the road all the time so we can keep our lunch and our drinks cold. So every, everything that we control up here, then this is the business center. Best part of it, I loved when I bought this truck with the setback door design is when the customer enters the store, he's not interrupting any, any area through where the, the franchisee is blocking the customers from coming on because that's how my last two, two trucks were. This just makes it perfect. So everybody can come in and there is going to be specific tooling that is not on display. There's a lot of stuff on the truck. Like when I go to the airport, I reserve all this display real estate for the majority of the tool users. And then a lot of stuff kind of goes down into hidden areas. But I'll tell you something that we've noticed when we go through the day and all of a sudden 10 customers ask for the same tool, we just have to look at each other and go, TikTok, Instagram, and some of those tools, or one of those tools now I'm gonna tell you is the new needle nose pliers that first, first came out in the seven inch version. That was the one that just went wildfire on, on social media. And then we uh, released the six inch. But if everybody, if you remember seeing those videos where some guys were gripping onto the, the side of the hoist and hanging on, and then some people picking up coins by the side of the stuff, because once the customer sees them, the first thing, is that that tool I saw on Instagram? Sure is. That's just one tool that, that has gone hundredfold rather than the old days of before internet where it was always a show and tell. Now the internet is showing and telling and we're delivering. But we'll also, we'll do a demo on, on the truck for you because a demonstration without a presentation is just merely a conversation. So we'll show you how it works. The easy part for rotation is Snap-on runs for us programs that rotate monthly. So we know what to rotate there on a monthly basis and have it here either in Cole's Corner or here. And we run extra promotions. And we're, we're currently running an extra promotion right now. You're an apprentice. You're starting a new trade. You're a registered apprentice. We're going to get you in the system. We're going to put your name in the computer, get all your vitals and everything, where you're working and bring up your, your industry training authority, your skilled trades, BC. That's proof that your apprenticeship with that, you actually can exercise a privilege of doing two orders through Snap-on at 35% off. Myself and Cole, we will do all the legwork to, to get you that deal. You just gotta work with us to provide the information we need, the list of tools you want, and we'll make it happen for you. And you're gonna get a really nice discount on some stuff. Hey, Snappy Dean, what is the most expensive and least expensive tool you sell? Most expensive tool on the truck would be a handheld diagnostic tool for automotive technician, a Zeus Plus, uh, running around 12,995, right in that area. Least expensive tool would be probably you coming in and saying, the ring on the end of my impact gun that holds the socket is worn out. My sockets keep falling off. Can you change it for me? For the most part, we just change it as a, as a complimentary service, but retail price on it is maybe $3, $2.50. What's the difference between the quality of customer service you'll get from Snap-on versus the other guys? Well, I know you guys asked about something earlier, so I'll just, I'll just tell you about a little over the top for a customer. And, and he's probably a customer you at Takamo know because he is a heavy industry, heavy duty mechanic. 
pretty far into the evening and he knows that we work out here so late. He took the chance, he phoned. Of course, I saw it was him and, and uh, I answered. And he's like, snap. He says, uh, I got trouble here. He says, I'm changing this cutting edge on this bucket. And he says, I don't have anything that'll get down into the counter bore. I never seen something like this before. Uh, at one point, Dayquip was doing the recessed uh, cutting edge bolts and they kind of messed up on their OD. You couldn't fit a socket in there properly. So when it burred over, it kind of turned into lathe and machined your socket to fit perfectly, except it was the wrong size. So I just sat there spinning. I was like, okay, tell me the hex size of, of the fastener. So he tells me, he says, 36 millimeter. Okay, now I want to know the ID of the counter bore. So he quickly measures it, tells me the inside diameter. And I'm like, where are you? And he's like, he was about an hour away. I said, head for my house and I'll have something for you. And I'm lucky enough that here in the snap cave where the truck parts, I also have a little machine shop on the other side of that wall there. And I have a milling machine and a lathe. I took the tool that would have normally fit and just put on a dirty t-shirt and fired up the lathe, chucked the socket in there and made him a custom tool. He showed up and he was just jaw dropped. He's like, who does that for somebody? And I'm like, I do. Here you go, go get the job done. And he did. I don't know where you would go to buy a tool where that tool store would say, give me an hour and I'll make this tool for you. So I'm not saying it happens everywhere in the Snap-on world. I'll definitely give it my best go. Can we see the rock and roll truck? Absolutely, yeah, we can, we can do, a, we can take a quick peek if you guys wanna see the brand new r and truck, which is rock and roll. Got the new car smell, everything is, it came fully loaded. The toolboxes are all made in the USA and now going to Iowa. Yeah, we can take a look in the, in the R&R truck. I had the keys. Come on in. This is the inside of our, uh, like I said, our brand new R&R truck, our Rock and Roll Cab Express. And this truck is here to showcase not all our toolboxes, but a good selection of toolboxes that a for sure wouldn't fit on my truck, but when it comes time for you to want to engage with that toolbox representative and build your dream box up on the big screen, this is where it's gonna all happen. This is a supersonic blue with copper trim, epic 84 inch workstation. We've got the end cab and the riser section. This truck is solely to bring to you your building and purchase experience of your Snap-on toolbox, your dream box. But it, it also can be your starter box, your entry-level box. When I say entry-level box, we move away from the, the Epic Series and we, we go to a KRA or even a Master Series box. But, you know, this is, this is where you're starting out. This is where you're gonna end your journey. And, uh, and we make another one even bigger. It's 12 feet long, 144 inches long, and it is nicknamed, or so branded, Mr. Big. When you own Mr. Big, you're Mr. Big. Reach out to the Takamo team. Again, when they come to visit us here, we will tr we'll try to answer those questions or showcase something else. You might wanna see something else. So we'll try our best to get that done. How do I buy Snap-on tools? If you're a new customer to Snap-on, whether you come in and introduce yourself to us or we see you in the shop and it's like, oh, hey, there's a new guy there, a new face. And we'll go over and introduce ourselves to you and explain quickly the Snap-on program. But ideally, we're going to invite you to the store because this is where the magic happens. This is where you're going to walk in and see everything that, potentially is yours. And setting up an account at Snap-on is as easy as, I'm gonna ask you for your driver's license. The only reason I want your driver's license is it's got your names with the correct spelling, your address, your postal code, your birth date. I pride myself into building with you, the customer, is your needs list. 
and your needs list is not a promise that you're buying it. This is you just telling me, you know, Steve told me I need one of those and I think I need one of those. And I'm going to add that onto your customer profile so that six months from now, if I query a part number that's on sale and your name pops up or many names pops up, now it's my job just to tell you, hey, that gadget you were interested in is on sale. And we're also going to use that needs list, especially if you're an apprentice and you're going to exercise that privilege of doing uh, an apprentice order through Snap-on Tools Canada. We have in-house financing. We call that RA or revolving account. But that's about as simple as it is. If you are new to a, a, a tool using industry and you see the white truck, whether you see me, or you see Cole, don't be shy. Come and see us. We try our best to see every one of you in the shops that we go to. If we miss you, it was not on purpose. We might not have seen you uh, in, in the bay you were working in, but please just don't shy away and don't be afraid to coming to the Snap-on store. It's the best store there is. But if you're brand new to the industry and let's say you live down the road and you're just like, okay, well, I'm not at a shop and I want to buy a tool. Dean, can I come and buy a tool? Yes, of course you can come and buy a tool. We're our own franchisee, our own internal workings, the way we do business, we try to keep it the same. You go to McDonald's, you would expect that Big Mac to be the same flavor and taste on the West Coast that it is on the East Coast. We try to keep that the same within Snap-on as well. Your experience should be somewhat to, close to the same. Okay, everybody. Well. Thank you for uh, joining us on the tour of the Snap-on truck. Yeah, if you have any more questions or comments, put them below the video and we can both help you out as best as we can. We're here for you. Thanks for watching. If you want more Snap-on videos, let us know in the comments below or reach out at media at techmohd.com.